The Catholic Church has had a fair share of monastic scandals despite its demands for virtue and celibacy. However, the stories of misconduct that shadow the history of Agnes Fureo's convent outweigh almost all of these scandals. How despicable were these stories? Keep watching to find out. Welcome to Timeless History. In this video, we will be discussing the most nasty facts about the nuns throughout history. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel to see more videos about disturbing history facts. Sant' Ambrogio della Massima nuns in Rome were subjected to sexual initiation ceremonies, occasionally involving as many as three persons. After being demoted, other nuns filled Maria Agnes Fureo's place as the convent's founder. By the 1850s, mistress of novices, Maria Luisa, was coercing lewd affairs between herself and the nuns in her convent, faking letters from the Virgin Mary and thwarting anybody who dared to disagree with her practices. These hidden facts, kept in the Vatican archives for years, came to light only when historian Hubert Wolff's book, The Nuns of Sant' Ambrogio, completely deconstructed the case. However, the lengths these nuns went to keep their secrets a secret are even more disturbing. 7. Nuns were required to sleep next to the novice master. Fireo, the convent of Sant' Ambrogio's founder, lost her abbess title in the 1850s for inciting other nuns to treat her as a false idol. Maria Luisa, who took up Fireo's duties as mistress of novices, scheduled nightly meetings with her novices. One nun admitted, Maria Luisa, asking to lie in a certain position, with my legs raised, while she entwined herself with me. She then made movements and a sound such as I cannot express in words, as she instructed me to position myself so that I could receive her bodily fluids into me. 6. The convent's founder communed with a priest and a nun in three different ways. Early in the 19th century, the convent's founder, Maria Agnes Fureo, became embroiled in many controversies. Fureo, who had served as Pope Leo XII's spiritual advisor, got into trouble when her transgressions were made known. In addition to having an affair with her confessor, Firao had a three-way fling with him and another nun. She pretended to perform miracles and had two abortions after being tricked into getting pregnant by clerical staff. Thankfully, when Maria Agnes lost her position as abbess in 1816, her monastery was not closed down by the Inquisition. Instead, behind closed doors, the illegal activity persisted. 5. Sexual initiation rites welcomed new nuns to the convent. Maria Luisa introduced some unorthodox practices to new nuns, including sexual initiation rites. She requested the novices to lay face-to-face -face and breast-to-breast -breast with her. Maria Luisa told the nuns that her bodily fluids contained divine blessings, which could be shared during the climax. During the trial, Maria Luisa testified that the saintly founder of the order, Firel, used similar ways to pass on her miraculous liquor to Maria Luisa and former novices. 4. She engaged in an erotic Jesuit blessing. During the Inquisition trial, Maria Luisa was accused of partaking in lesbian meetings, venerating a false saint, and murder. But during her trial, one offense, in particular, jumped out. Witnesses claimed that Maria Luisa had participated in a ceremony referred to as a Jesuit blessing, but was an erotic ritual. The convent's founder, Maria Agnes Fureau, left behind a secret blessing that included, among other things, French kissing. According to a witness, the male confessor formed the cross sign on her throat with his mouth. Occasionally, he would kiss the penitent on the heart while sticking his tongue inside her mouth. Nuns occasionally had fits of ecstasy while being given the blessing while knelt before the confessor. 3. The nuns worshipped a false saint. The Sant' Ambrogio nuns were also disciplined for maintaining that a fake saint was holy, even though it was far less severe than confessing to sexual misconduct and attempted murder. Behind convent walls, Maria Agnes Fureo, the founder of Sant' Ambrogio, who the Roman Inquisition dubbed a false saint, was revered. Princess Katharina was appalled to find out about the unauthorized worship. They described to me the three pounds of raw flesh that fell from the mother after only one flagellation and showed me her scourges and other tools of mortification. The princess said, they always complimented her extraordinary virtue. No one blushes when Sister Maria Agnes's sanctity is extolled in this convent. She is nearly as holy as all previous saints. 2. Princess Katharina escaped from the convent and exposed Maria Luisa. By 36, Princess Katharina von Hohenzollern-Sigmaringen had been divorced twice. 
the princess decided to become a nun in Rome's monastery of Sant'Ambrogio rather than stay in her native Germany. The princess soon discovered the suspicious activity and began fearing for her life. The princess sneaked out a mysterious message that said, Save me. After discovering the abbess's illicit and controlling behavior, she believed Maria Luisa was slowly trying to kill her. 1. The nun's triumphed itinerant inquisitor. It is hardly surprising that the monastery was a target of the Inquisition because the case of San Ambrogio was personal to the Inquisitors. San Ambrogio's nuns publicly denounced the Inquisition. Inside the walls of San Ambrogio, the nuns vociferously declared that the Inquisition was mistaken and that the convent's founder, Maria Agnes Firel, was not guilty of fake holiness as the Catholic institution had determined. These nuns revered Agnes Firel as a saint and gathered mementos of her like her garments, embroidery, and statues. Their creator was named her joy, her treasure, the brightest of her stars. Which of these facts do you think is the nastiest? Do you know more nasty facts about nuns? Let us know in the comments section. Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on more videos about the most disturbing history facts.